Before you start watching, remember that you won't be able to see those videos anywhere else. Why? Because I make them. So if you will like what you will see in just in a few seconds, uh, please hit the thumbs up and leave a subscription with all the notifications to be up to date with the Votu Beats wave. And let's enjoy the video. Also, I'm running an Instagram account where I'm posting lots of cool things, not only the beats and the stuff you can see on YouTube, but some behind the scenes, stuff like that. And I'm really active on the stories. So you can type in Vozu underscore beats in the search bar or just press the link in the description and leave a follow. Yo, what is up guys, it's Wodzubit here. We are in this beautiful place called Krakowskie Błonia. This is a big, big field in Krakow, in the center of Krakow. Maybe not in the center, but uh, really close to it. I'm here today because I've been flying my drone for over an hour here. Uh, it's actually really, really early. Uh, it's like uh, half past six, actually. Uh, I woke up at 5 a.m. I came here to uh, shoot the sunset especially to shoot the sunset because I've always wanted to see if there is actually uh, something like golden hour. I am not a professional videographer or photographer, so I just wanted to compare my shots uh, shoot during the day and shoot during this golden hour thing. And the colors, guys, are beautiful. Not only the colors, but the atmosphere here. There was a fog on all of this airfield like it was covered in milk literally so i'm super excited to see these shots but now uh, let's go to my studio and let's make a beat welcome to the new camera setup as you can see this frame is much much better than the previous ones i tried to experiment a little bit uh, with the settings in my phone since i'm recording these vlogs with my galaxy s10e and with these two lights i have right here you can't see them, uh, but I have this like uh, super bright lights with these umbrellas uh, and this isn't the proper setup for that kind of small room and for the thing I, have, I want to achieve because I want the light focused on me. But as it is right now, it's pretty good. Uh, I looked at this frame, I've recorded some samples and I am blown away because I didn't invest any penny life tip number one appreciate what you have because i've had these lights for like five years now and i couldn't use them properly <laughs> yeah okay so what we have here today is a beat i'm making right now uh, so we are not starting anything new today uh, but just take a listen So uh, today we've got some uh, sexy vibes and needless to say as a fan of Suicide Boys funk and this whole scene of lo-fi music I just love the saxophone. These are actually the samples I just found on Looperman so this is not my own saxophone I didn't wrote it. I chopped them here and there to achieve what I want to uh, change the sequence but yeah beats do not have to be complicated at all uh, and as far as it sounds good, it's good. I think this snare should go a little bit lower, but just a little bit. Now it's too low. Okay. Uh, the second thing um, is this transition right here. I've added some filter transitioning right here on this automation. Uh, so maybe we should change it a little bit. It's too intense. Oh yeah. That's what I want to hear. Uh, and now quick tip for Reaper users. You can select this thing right here on the automation, press the right button on the mouse and insert the automation item. And now you can move this anywhere you want. You can even save this as a preset 
for example, soft filter, bang, it's saved. <laughs> This one is much different than the previous ones. I I've, I've, uh, haven't been using this saxophone and you know, this is a whole different vibe for me. And these roads are so warm, so... They are a little bit too clean for me. So let's uh, add isotope neutron right here. Let's take care of this low end since we do not need it. Um, it's okay. Now, let's use the sculptor, keys and electric piano. Let's rise up the tone. So what sculptor does in this scenario, it just takes this warm uh, middle frequencies and takes out uh, some of the higher end. It's not as bright as it was, so it definitely would go well with the saxophone. Let's listen. Perfect. Uh, what we also want to do is to add some reverb for the saxophone since it's raw right now. Perfect. Remember, as you are using headphones, as you are making beats and uh, especially mixing beats, that's the most important thing. Uh, be careful about the reverb. The usual thing producers do, including myself, is using a little bit too much of the reverb or way too much reverb. So if you are mixing something on headphones, uh, you have uh, to make a precaution and just uh, remember the fact that you can do some mistakes like that. And if you can, just take a listen on any monitoring system uh, besides the headphones, so you can be sure that the reverbs are on the correct levels. I think the hi-hats are too high-pitched too, so... Uh, this drum set worked super well in the previous beats, but this one has to be a little bit more lo-fi-ish, so you know the lo-fi beats usually have uh, these low-pitched drums. No, it doesn't sound really good. So, let's find another head. Yeah. It's more like, more kind of like a synthetic uh, hi-hat. This previous one was uh, more, has had a bigger transient at the beginning. It was really snappy. So we changed the drum set a little bit, but it is totally okay. Because what I usually do as I'm starting a new beat pack, I'm just making a drum set I like for this particular vibe, for this particular sound. And I just stay with it. I just stick to it through the whole process for the eight beats. Uh, and then I'm making a new beat pack and I change all the sounds. But changing the samples for some certain beats definitely uh, is a better choice since it just sounds better. We need a clap since I didn't record any clap right here. Let's quantize and let's move on. And we don't have any 808s, so let's fix that. Back in the time, as I was starting to make like serious beats, not just, you know, playing with music. It was still playing with music, but you know, I just saw more potential in making those beats. Uh, I just liked uh, when the kick always uh, went with the 808 because I've been like super crazy about the funk scene and how the uh, kicks with the bass uh, sounded on you know these old school tapes it was like so booming like boom boom ba -ba boom boom ba boom As you can see, we've only used three sounds and this is all we need here. Maybe let's try to put a real bass guitar somewhere here because I like when the verses are without the 808 just from time to time. 
and when the 808 just hits on the chorus part and then it's like you know you are waiting for this booming part no, everything is not super punchy and then uh, comes the chorus with the 808 and everything besides the 808 is with the real bass guitar you can of course use a VST but I have a guitar right here just just let me Okay, I have the bass plugged in. Uh, I am surrounded with cables from headphones, from the microphone. So this is not a comfortable pulse right now. Let's turn on the metronome. Great. Here, just before the beat hits uh, on this breakdown, uh, I would just record one more note on bass guitar and this would be a slide just to go down for the notes. So let's take this once again. Yeah, that's what I wanted to hear. And I would add just maybe a shaker. Uh, that's a very common thing in this beat pack. Uh, let's find the shaker. Uh, loops. Let's test it out. And now, bang, 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 bang. And we could add the cowbell, I think. Where is the cowbell? Maybe less reverb for the cowbell. And let's make it a little bit lower. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode more than the previous ones. Not only thanks to the lighting, but through the overall atmosphere here. If you did, please feel free to leave some thumbs up, leave the subscription, drop a comment if you want to tell me something. All these things are going to rise this video up. Remember about the new episodes of the Beat Grinding in Reaper series. Through the past three episodes, we were talking about drums. Now we're uh, going to change the topics a little bit, move to the 808s and that kind of bass sphere. Last Friday, I also dropped a video about autotune in which I was talking about reasons of using autotune, uh, the circumstances and the history of autotune itself and music and its role nowadays. So there's definitely happening a lot on this channel recently and it's going to happen a lot. I also wanted to say hello for all the new subscribers, uh, especially from Reddit since uh, like three days ago I started to just share my videos on Reddit uh, on the Reaper subreddit and uh, you know beat production subreddit and I am super surprised with uh, the feedback from Reddit. There were already people commenting the stuff on Reddit. Uh, even one of them uh, can, uh, contacted me personally. Uh, shout out to Goldra. My name is Dominic. You've been watching Vodzo Beats and keep the good vibes alive. And keep the good vibes alive.